Hey guys, and welcome to this awesome Total Body Slider workout. I'm so glad you joined me. And all you're going to need is maybe a mat if you're on a hard floor because your knees will be down for one move. And then something to slide on. So if you're on a, a slippery floor like this, anything that's uh, slidey is going to work. So a rag, a towel, um, an old t-shirt that you don't want anymore. <laughs> Just anything that will slide on the floor. And then if you're on carpet, um, something like a paper plate or one of those... Sometimes they wrap your shoes when you order them, like your tennis shoes in that plastic shipping wrap. Um, I've cut squares out of that and it works really well also if you're on carpet. So something that will slide, you need, and then maybe a mat. Um, we're gonna do four moves and we're gonna go through them five times. It's gonna be really short intervals and short rest. It's gonna be a 20 second work, 10 second rest ratio. Um, so, you want to be moving the whole interval because you're only doing it for 20 seconds. So even if it starts to burn at 15, just push those last five seconds out because it's a really short period of time. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the moves. I think everything else is covered there. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the four moves and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. It's gonna be great. So the first thing that we're gonna do is an upper body move. This is total body. I don't know if I said that. So this is a total body workout. Um, and what you're going to do is one arm is going to slide forward and the other one is going to go down into kind of a push-up um, position. So it's going to look like this. You're stretched out nice and your core is engaged. And you're going to go down and slide forward. So just like that, that's the first move. The second move is going to be for your legs. So you're going to feel it kind of in your glutes and hamstrings. All back there. <laughs> so you're going to lay on your mat if you'd like or else just on the floor. You're gonna come up into a bridge position, weight is in your heels, and you're gonna slide all the way out and then pull into bridge. So you're gonna feel that nice right up the back of your leg. <laughs> Our next move is going to be a pike pull in. So your feet are gonna go on there for the pike. And you're gonna get into a full plank position like this. And you're gonna really use your core to pull into a V and then back out into full plank. So you're pulling in and then back out, just like that. You'll probably feel a little bit in your quads as well and your upper body since it's supporting your weight. So that's a great all around move. Uh, for the last move, then we're gonna pull our sliders or whatever you have <laughs> onto the same side of your body. So same side of your hand and foot are gonna be on it and you're gonna get into a full plank again. And we're going to do a little side crunch. So you're going to just come together and then back. Just like that. So just right there. It's going to be a great little one right there. And so now that I just did that, I realized, I know that's right, five intervals. <laughs> I don't know, five intervals, four rounds. So we're doing five intervals for four rounds. Excuse me, I know in the beginning I said four for five rounds. But it's five for four rounds. <laughs> so forgive me there. But we are going to go ahead and start. So we're going to get into the position for that forward reach for the first round. It's going to be so exciting. <laughs> so hands are on your sliders, knees are on the ground or on your mat. And we're just going to go. So that first move is a forward reach and we are going to start. All right, I'm going to play my timer. And go. So you're going to forward reach and pull back. Forward reach and pull back. So just like this, you want your core nice and tight here. You don't want to uh, be flopping around. We're almost done. There's not going to be a ton of time. So that was your last one. So 10 seconds, you're going to hurry and switch for that hamstring pull. I'm going to grab my timer. And up, so out and in. Very nice move here. <laughs> you really feel it in your hamstrings. Just keep going at a nice steady pace. You're only gonna be doing it for four more seconds. Not bad at all. Probably the last one. And down. So if you've got a mat, flip it out of the way. Your feet are going on the sliders. And full plank right now. And pike in and out. So you're pulling into that pike position. Such a great move. 
really gets your core, your upper body's really working, your quads are working, and last one, all right. So now we're gonna switch our sliders to the same side. I'm gonna move my timer, and in two seconds we're gonna get up, and side crunch. So just right there, just really pulling that knee and elbow together. Almost done. And five more seconds. Keep on pulling. And last one, all right. And then we're gonna switch sides. So you may not be able to see this side as well because <laughs> it's not facing you. And ready, go. So knee and elbow coming together. Core nice and tight the whole time. You want that other side of your body to be pretty still and steady. <laughs> A nice strong plank on one side. And last one, done. All right, so if you want your mat, grab it. We're going back to that forward reach in two seconds. And go. So forward reach. I have to say this is probably my least favorite move in this workout. <laughs> Upper body is just always a challenge for me. Even if we're only doing three or four each side like this. And last one, and done. Uh, all right, so we're gonna lay back for that hamstring, and we're gonna start in two seconds. And go. So just in and out of a bridge. Pulling with those hammies. Feel it in your glutes a bit too. You're halfway. And six seconds left. Just keep on going. Short intervals, last one. All right. Like I said, short intervals, you wanna just keep moving. And we're doing that pike in right now. So get in your full plank and go. So just pull it in and out. Just like this, whole body is working here. Really use your lower abs to pull your butt to the sky. Whew. Last one, and done. All right, so the last move is that side crunch. So we're going to put our sliders on one side and go. So just crunching together at the side. Knee and elbow coming together, holding a nice pretty flank. All right, almost done, last one. And we're gonna switch. My arms are feeling this. <laughs> Lovely workout. All right, so we're gonna start in three seconds. And full plank. Here we go. After these, we're halfway done. It's a super quick workout, like I said. <laughs> Super quick, but super awesome. Almost done here. And three seconds. Last one, good, all right. So we're going back to those forward reaches. If you need your mat, grab your mat, like me. I'm gonna fix my shorts, they've gone wild. And go. All right. This is our three out of four here. We are almost done with this lovely workout. Whew. Last one. And we're going to that lovely hamstring pull in. Feet on the mat or on the sliders and start. So in and out. Nice steady pace here. Keep moving the whole time. It's a very nice targeted move for those hamstrings. I'm sure mine will be sore tomorrow. <laughs> and last one. All right. So we are now going to those pike ins for the second to last time. Yay. All right, so go. Pike ins, side crunches. 
And then the last round. I love workouts <laughs> that fly by in 10 minutes. <laughs> Almost done, last one. And then in and out. All right, so we want our rags on the same side or washcloths or whatever you have. <laughs> and we're gonna get back into that full plank right now. So side crunching, knee and elbow coming together. Whew. Great little workout <laughs> if you don't have much time. You've been meaning to try out sliders. Last one. These are a great little way to add some fun to your home workouts. We'll start the other side in two, one, and go. So just elbow and knee together. Just keep on keeping on. We're almost done. Five more seconds here. And two, and one. All right, so we're going back those last four reaches, thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know that my arms could take much more. <laughs> and last one, let's go. So forward and back. That one arm is doing a little bit of a push up, kind of a military push up almost. Because your elbow is going a little bit straight back. Last one. And into those hammies. Last set of these. Grab my foot. All right. And up. And in and out. Last round. Last round of these hammy <laughs> pull-ins. So nice quick pace. In and out. You're almost done. Four more seconds. And last one. And done. All right, so. We're going into pikins for the last time. Start those in two seconds. And woo, go. Go, go, go without me. All right. And in. And out. Pulling that belly button up. Pushing that butt towards the ceiling. Last few seconds. Last round. And done. All right, so. Sliders on the same side. These are our last two intervals. And go. Knees and elbow coming together here for a lovely <laughs> burn. Almost done. And two and one. All right. Other side, last side. Last interval, last everything. Almost done. And go. This is it. The very end of this lovely slider workout. And once you have some more time and decide to repeat it, <laughs> then this is it. And last one right here. And done. Whew. Broke a little sweat there. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. A 10 minute sweat. Um, all right, like I said, <laughs> if you have a little extra time and you wanna do that on a second round, go, go for it. Either on your own or just restart me <laughs> and follow through again. But if you don't and you wanna join me for just that one round, that is awesome too. It's a great little, 10 minute, uh, it's a great little 10 minute hit <laughs> with some strength, some sweat, maybe get a little bit out of breath <laughs> like me. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad that you did and I will see you next time.